welcome to the Kansas City MLB Urban Youth Academy. It's an opportunity for us to empower the youth of the day into becoming the leaders of tomorrow through baseball and softball interaction and through academic achievement. So, if you guys don't mind, I'd like to take you on a little visit. All right, morning, everybody. Good. Everybody good? All right. We want this place to become the epicenter of Midwest baseball, okay, uh, that every kid is welcome here, no matter whether they have uh, a background of a lot of baseball, a little baseball or softball, or no baseball or softball. And so it's a place for every kid. It's a place they can feel safe. It's a place where they can develop hope and certainly uh, a plan for tomorrow. And so we're just thankful for the opportunity that we get to come along and partner with this historic neighborhood and with an organization like the Kansas City Royals that have uh, gone above and beyond what many major league teams would do to create this environment. It's an unbelievable facility, a facility that is really, we believe, one of the crown jewels of all the amateur baseball facilities throughout the Midwest. And that facility is going to be used not only to, to serve the urban core and to, as I've said many times, we believe and hopefully bridge the gap between the urban and the suburban and the rural parts of Kansas City through the game of baseball and softball. The other thing that, that we hope to do is have tryout camps there on a continuous basis. 15, 20, 30 years ago, area scouts from all 30 major league teams would have open tryout camps all over the country. Well, in the last eight or nine years, those tryout camps have went away. And so, but what we're trying to do is we, we want to, uh, again, have a, a rhythm where we have open tryout camps where every kid in Kansas City, every kid throughout the Midwest can say, hey, you know what, I tried out for the Kansas City Royals one day. You know, we, we want uh, to, again, create that vision in the, in the minds and the hearts of, of young people throughout uh, our city and our community and throughout the Midwest. Uh, we do believe in that there is a Royals way of doing things, and so we set the tone as a staff. We give our kids an opportunity to feel safe, uh, to feel protected, and go out and compete. Outside, we have four outdoor fields. Each one of the fields has a uniqueness, even in its name. Uh, field one is called Joe McGuff Field. Uh, Joe McGuff was uh, very instrumental at being part of Kansas City Star, of helping Ewing Kaufman be in front of the right people to give Ewing Kaufman's gift back to Kansas City of a Major League Baseball franchise once the A's relocated to Oakland, an opportunity for the Royals to come in here. So for him and being a writer, being a part of the media, we can sh showcase that discipline to the kids of maybe you're not going to be a star athlete on the field, but you can be a star in writing about the game or writing for a, a newspaper or a magazine or doing a blog. Those opportunities exist there. When you look at field two, it's called Motley Family Field. In one family here in, in uh, this part of Kansas City, you had the great uh, Don Motley. He was a longtime coach in the Van Johnson League, uh, coached amateur baseball, gave kids an opportunity to express themselves, gave them opportunities to go on and further their careers in college. But he was a friend to the community as a whole. Uh, his brother Bob Motley was a great Negro League umpire. And his grandson, uh, Britton Miley, is a part-time scout for us, and he continues to work with the youth uh, in this community today, uh, just like his grandfather. And so in one family, you see a coach, you see an umpire, you see a scout. And so when we talk to kids about opportunities that exist beyond the game, how about coaching, how about scouting, how about umpiring? Uh, field three, Salvador Perez field, it's the ultimate goal of every little league kill kid is one day you want to be a major league player. Salvador Perez is uh, not only a major league player, but he's a high level. He's an all-star. He's a gold glove. Uh, just this year made his fifth consecutive start as an all-star game. Maybe we do have that kid over here who has that ability to one day become a multiple-time all-star, and so uh, we certainly want to do everything that we can to foster that. And then uh, field four is a softball field. It's called Women of the Negro Leagues field. Uh, the Negro Leagues was one one of the most diverse places that uh, long before Major League Baseball. And so Constance Morgan, Tony Stone, Mamie Peanut Johnson, three ladies who actually played in the league, earned their way onto the field. And certainly uh, the great 
uh, Effa Manley, who was an owner with her husband. When he passed away, she took over full ownership of a Negro League team, serving also as a general manager, making trades, those things. And so with all the things that are said about baseball, we want to embrace our young ladies and give them opportunities to see themselves in baseball. Baseball is a very diverse game, whether you're on the field or in the front office. And so we want to give them high aspirations. And so each one of these fields has its own little story to it, its own little uniqueness. And so uh, this is a great outdoor facility for us to be able to not only conduct workouts, to host tournaments, and to bring in high level games to make sure we are the great ambassadors of the game. Baseball is a connecting sport. And so one of the goals for us uh, uh, through the leadership of Dayton Moore is we want to be able to connect urban, suburban, and rural. This game and the struggle that this game and the life lessons that it, uh, that it teaches gives us that opportunity.